poultry producer is the largest and cheapest protein source for Ghanaians. And for the festive season, one cannot wait to have a bite of the crispy fried chicken paired with rice and stew. But as we seek to satisfy our non-relinquishing cravings for poultry products, we go to the market to find out how business has been for farmers and consumers alike. Christmas is usually a good business season for those engaged in poultry farming as chicken and other poultry products witness high purchases during this season. Many farmers have in stock grown broilers, others slaughter their old layers, or some sell from their locally red flock and breeds just to make sure the preferences of the consumers are met. There seems to be a change in the trends, however, as some sellers we spoke to bemoaned low sales of poultry products even though the Christmas season is fast approaching. The Christmas is not due, so people come once in a while. So we are praying that during the festive season, people will come and buy like the other years. Even before the festive season, companies and people come to buy chicken. But as for this year, it is not happening. Oh, but this year, yeah, who is that? Some consumers say they cannot afford to buy poultry products for their Christmas dinner due to the recent price increases. This Christmas, I get to grow chicken for our children for uh, them to be happy. But this year, things are very tough. So I'm here to ask for the price. I'm here to ask for the price. I'm here to ask for I am here to buy three fowls, but because of the price, I can only afford one. It was 40 cities then, but now it is 60 and 65, which is too high. Why is that possible? But it shouldn't be such, so they should reduce the price. The sellers say it is due to no fault of theirs, the prices of maize, soya bean, wheat, and other supplementary products used in poultry farming have gone up within the space of barely a year. The situation is made complex by the plight of poultry farmers in the country who find it difficult to break even. The feed for the chicken is not expensive, so when we buy, we have to increase the prices as well. Will it be the case that most Guineans would opt for the imported cheaper frozen chicken? The government pledged in the fiscal budget plan for 2023 to increase local productivity capacity and exporting poultry from Ghana is seen as one sure way to do so as they work to lessen Ghana's reliance on imported goods. However, the question that raises the issue is, will this be possible for the country's poultry industry?